Anthony White. My name is The Great. Put it together, it's The Great White. Sharks go forward, they never go back. My main thing is, uh, commonly said, actually, the best offense or the best defense is great offense. I constantly like to attack this and get the people to think. Um, You're already a lot nicer than I was. This is bullshit. <laughs> I don't know what kind of douchebag thing to say. I smell weight class defied. <laughs> Alright, what weight class do you fight in? Oh, hmm, let me see. <laughs> uh, I guess I would fight at like, ah, uh-huh, I can't put my pants down. 135. <laughs> For all you ladies out there. <laughs> I like to keep it very nice and classy. <laughs> I By the I way, am. he is King Douche. I am King Douche. <laughs> um, let's see here. I don't even know what you were talking about. Introduction, bro. Just yeah. about your life. <laughs> <laughs> kind of. I don't want to hear. No one wants to hear your whole fucking backstory, but. <laughs> I was born in. Um, <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. What got me started in fighting was all the way back in the middle school years. Uh, I don't even know what year that was. It was just like. 10, 11 years ago. Um, my, the first fight I saw was Grand Tour Dave Rogonzaga. I don't know if it was a rerun or if it was live on pay per view, not too sure. But I just remember seeing that and everyone uh, being all excited. And I was like, oh, I want to do that. I want to be there someday. And after that, I took up wrestling in middle school, Valley View. I still have broken records there. Trying to break some kiddos because you can't do it. Five second hand got the most points. I don't remember how many it was. Um, after that, you know, I did all wrestling all through middle school. I got to high school. I found Mr. Badcock. Everyone that goes to Napa have known. Crazy curly mustache. And the waxed beard. <laughs> that would take years to grow. It's like this long and braided. Either way, it's Mr. Badcock. Badass. Through and through. I still don't know if I'd be able to take him. I mean, I'll kick him in the head and that guy will be like, That's all you got? Smack. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, let me see what else here. Um, after that, I dated this one girl. Her dad became my coach. I learned Muay Thai. So, you know, I got my stand-up. And I did that for many, many years. My stand-up is crisp. It's nice. Um, so I got stand-up for that ground. I, I don't want to say I'm the best submission in the world because I'm not. <laughs> I can't do submissions to save my life. I can get out of them. I can be dominant in wrestling. I cannot submit people. Um, you can see here. What other questions? I fight at 135. Well, we already covered that. Oh, <laughs> by the way, all you champions out there with the 135 belt, prepare for me to take them. Don't care who you are. Don't care what your background is. The belts are mine. <laughs> End of story. Um, I'm going to be starting up me and Sean over here. The asshole behind the camera. Damn straight. We're, we're going to be starting our own little gym here because, you know, gyms are just so expensive for us people who don't have a whole lot of money. Just be like, oh, it's <laughs> Make it fucking rain. No, we, we can do that. So, you know, now we go thrift shopping. Straight up and from right there. Once we get the gym started, you know, places are so expensive. I'm only gonna charge the people like what twenty dollars. Go mow a damn lawn, go yeah. train. Damn straight, that's, you that's, know. That's about how I'm, that's gonna be there. Yeah, definitely. I'll, I'll have no problem paying for the rest if I don't have that many people. I just want to make sure that if people want to train, they're gonna be able to train without having to fucking cut their leg off. <laughs> I wonder if that's how that. One arm fighter guy. <laughs> really stuff. I mean, seriously, shit's getting ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, I think the cheapest gym in all of Idaho is like sixty-five dollars. Ridiculous. Oh, what other questions? <laughs> Who's your favorite fighter? My favorite fighter is Anderson Silva. I mean, yeah, he's a giant dick, but come on, all of us when we get into the cage. We're, we we all want to be that giant dick. Yeah, like when he He's knocked out fighter. or when he knocked out Yushin Okami. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, everyone is humble at the end. They do their little bows. Oh, thank you for fighting. But when you're in the when you're in the mood, you're a dick. You're like, oh fuck this guy can't knock me out. Fuck you, come at me. No, <laughs> people can't do that. Um, let's see here. 
I don't know what else to say. You got two more minutes. Two more minutes. Should I do a trip game? <laughs> Liz isn't here, bro. We can't do that. Oh. Apparently, we have to do that again, though. She lost the video. And that oh. one will be posted on YouTube with just this. Just a secure channel for all the subscribers. Yeah. Not everybody needs to see that. And don't worry. It's not a full-on strip. That would be really odd, and I don't think YouTube I would allow that. <laughs> I'm just going to say that right now. <laughs> The only kind people will actually see me topless is A, when I'm training and I feel like taking my shirt off, B, when I'm swimming, which people will mostly only see at like the lake. With all the nice. little tweenies chasing you around. <laughs> or when I'm fighting. That's about the three times people will see me, or unless you know you're a girl that's under me. <laughs> <laughs> I think that just topped my asshole comments. <laughs> I'm saying the ladies. No, all of this can't. I don't know. I don't know. I think your 135 just shunned a lot of them. <laughs> and this is why he's the king of douche. <laughs> Anyways, I want you to. I want you all to know that I am actually a very peaceful guy. Um, the tattoo is mostly for shits and giggles. I mean, you, you hear everybody laughing. It's it's good times. I like to have a good time. I'm a nice guy. I enjoy long walks on the beach. Um, we're, we're it's a documentary, not an eHarmony profile. <laughs> I know, but I want them to capture our uh, awesomeness. <laughs> or lack <Subscribe>. thereof. <laughs> Subscribe to our um, you know, YouTube thingy. I don't really know what it's called. <laughs> YouTube, ch uh, YouTube channel? YouTube channel. Uh, there's going to be more to come. This is just the entry for our documentaries. There's going to be a lot of great shit. I just want to say that now. Parents at home, if your kids are watching this, I want to apologize in advance for our um, language. We don't really have filters. They got removed when we were young, I guess. That and we just don't give a fuck. A little bit of the folks. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and just wait until we get our own place. There will be a lot more videos. <laughs> no parties, no parties. We're just going to bust out the camera and be like, Next day we'll be on our channel and be like, oh, see. <laughs> But this is the beginning of our documentary of our rise to the top. Because nobody wants it more than we do. I mean, my friend Aiden, of course he does, because all he does is eat, leave, live, breathe. That's all he does, is fighting. He can't even hold a damn job down, because all he wants to do is fighting. But right now, he's not making this documentary. We are. Um, love you guys for subscribing. Keep it real. See you guys later.